Four Noble Truths. One may become enlightened upon hearing the Four Noble Truths. Overall Impression of the Teachings. The First Truth, Dukkha, Suffering. All of our experience is pervaded by a kind of frustrating confusion. Complaint, worry, drag, pain, inadequacy, cries of indignation, resentment, and grief. Serious troubles easily breed in a medium such as this. Moments of happiness derive their poignancy, their preciousness from the general background of dukkha. The second truth declares that the cause of dukkha is trishna, craving, or desire, or attachment. The problem seems to be that we are always wanting something, feeling we are lacking something, or wanting an existing something to go away. Aversion is also a form of attachment. The third truth is that of cessation. Dukkha can cease because its cause can cease. There is a way out, which is the fourth truth. The truth of the path that leads to the cessation of suffering by extirpating its cause. This is described as the Eightfold Path. Key element of this path is meditation. Through the Eightfold Path we can entirely awaken from the poverty mentality of Krishna and stop generating Dukkha. Dukkha is caused by Krishna. Cessation is brought about by the way. Affirmation. This is the equivalent of saying that any impulse of thought which is repeatedly passed on to the subconscious mind is, finally, accepted and acted upon by the subconscious mind, which proceeds to translate that impulse into its physical equivalent by the most practical procedure available. Build your own life to order, taking inventory of mental assets and liabilities you will discover that your greatest weakness is lack of self-confidence. This handicap can be surmounted, and timidity translated into courage through the aid of the principle of auto-suggestion. The application of this principle may be made through a simple arrangement of positive thought impulses, stated in writing, memorized, and repeated until they become part of the working equipment of the subconscious faculty of your mind. The fire spirit, light shining in all directions, found the door of liberation, destroying forever all ignorant attached opinions. The fire spirit, thunder and lightning, found the door of liberation, of the great roar of power, to fulfill all undertakings, causing all barriers of darkness to be destroyed. Great light of memory power, Celestial King who found the door of liberation of the light of the gates of concentration formula, holding in memory all teachings without forgetting. Om, Gate Gate, Paragate, Parasam, Gate, Bodhi Svaha. Affirmations. 1. I am confident, comfortable in my own skin, posture, breath. Movements. 2. I am a good communicator, especially at what I want. 3. I am in control and don't let outside events destabilize me. 4. I am not needy. I keep my power for me. 5. I think sex is great and have no hang-ups. 6. I am comfortable around women. 7. I can control myself and wait patiently. 8. I don't tolerate disrespect of myself, my time, or my property. 9. I am a catch. 10. I am not impressed by outward symbols like money or status. 11. I may be smitten with a woman, but I don't tell her early on and I don't let it slip indirectly. 12. I don't let women use their looks or sexual power to take advantage. I give them no special privileges. 13. I am not self-conscious. 
and I could care less what others think about me. 14. I put myself and my life first. 15. I deserve and can hold an exceptional woman. 16. I am indifferent to the outcome. 17. I understand the culture, and I get it. Cosmo, MTV, style, food, music, humor, etc. 18. I can deal with any test a woman throws at me. In fact, it's usually kind of cute. 19. I live in my reality, and you're a guest. 20. I am at cause in the world, not effect. I make things happen. Noble Eightfold Path. 1. Right understanding. 2. Right thought. 3. Right speech. 4. Right action. 5. Right livelihood. 6. Right effort. 7. Right mindfulness. 8. Right concentration. Self-confidence formula. First, I know that I have the ability to achieve the object of my definite purpose in life. Therefore, I demand of myself persistent, continuous action towards its attainment, and I here and now promise to render such action. Second, I realize the dominating thoughts of my mind will eventually reproduce themselves in outward physical action and gradually transform themselves into physical reality. Therefore, I will concentrate my thoughts for 30 minutes daily upon the task of thinking of the person I intend to become, thereby creating in my mind a clear mental picture of that person. Third, I know through the principle of auto-suggestion that any desire that I persistently hold in my mind will eventually seek expression through some practical means of attaining the object back of it. Therefore, I will devote ten minutes daily to demanding of myself the development of self-confidence. Fourth, I have clearly written down a description of my definite chief aim in life, and I will never stop trying until I shall have developed sufficient self-confidence for its attainment. Fifth, I fully realize that no wealth or position can long endure unless built upon truth and justice. Therefore, I will engage in no transaction which does not benefit all whom it affects. I will succeed by attracting to myself the forces I wish to use, and the cooperation of other people. I will induce others to serve me, because of my willingness to serve others. I will eliminate hatred, envy, jealousy, selfishness, and cynicism by developing love for all humanity, because I know that a negative attitude towards others can never bring me success. I will cause others to believe in me because I will believe in them and in myself. I will sign my name to this formula commit it to memory, and repeat it aloud once a day with full faith that it will gradually influence my thoughts and actions so that I will become a self-reliant and successful person. Rare dream. Relax, attend, rehearse, envision, while developing rational and emotionally adaptive mindsets. Pratitya Sangupada, or Conditioned Origination. Important Basic Teaching. Three Marks of Existence. Impermanence, Suffering, and Egolessness. A Description of the Nature of Things. This explains why the process of craving and possessing can't function successfully in bringing happiness. Pratitya Samutpada, or Conditioned Origination a very complete and subtle picture of how all experience that is characterized by dukkha, samsara, fits together inseparably and so can come apart all at once, nirvana. And of course, there is karma. Theravada, Way of Elders. The Eightfold Path has been divided as follows and translated thusly, Shila, Samadhi, Prajna. 
enlightenment will speedily follow. Morality, concentration, wisdom, discipline, meditation, knowledge. These three elements are inseparable and should be applied in concert. The law of the twelve linked chain of causation. The law of the Pratyeka Buddhas. Ignorance causes action. Action causes consciousness. Consciousness causes name and form. Name and form cause the six sense organs. The six sense organs cause contact. Contact causes sensation. Sensation causes desire. Desire causes attachment. Attachment causes existence. Existence causes birth. Birth causes old age and death, worry and grief, suffering and anguish. If ignorance is wiped out, then action will be wiped out. If action is wiped out, then consciousness will be wiped out. If consciousness is wiped out, then name and form will be wiped out. If name and form is are wiped out, then the six sense organs will be wiped out. Then contact will be wiped out. If sensation is wiped out, then desire is wiped out. If desire is wiped out, then birth will be wiped out. If birth is wiped out, then death will be wiped out. If birth is wiped out, then old age and death, worry and grief, suffering and anguish will be wiped out. Penetrating deeply into all laws. According to the nature of a law, such a law settles. According to the nature of a law, such a law changes. According to the nature of a law, such a law vanishes. According to the nature of a law, such an evil law emerges. According to the nature of a law, such a good law appears. Settling, changing, and vanishing are also like this. Furthermore, the multiple body spirit, realm of pure joy, found the door of liberation, remembering the ocean of Buddha's ancient vows. The multiple body spirit, light illuminating all directions, found the door of liberation, of light shining everywhere on boundless worlds. The multiple body spirit, oceanic sound conquering, found the door of liberation, of a great sound awakening all beings and causing them to be happy and harmoniously tranquil. The multiple body spirit, pure flower adorned top knot, found the door of a liberation, of a body-like space, omnipresent. The multiple body spirit, infinite dignified postures, found the door of liberation, showing all sentient beings the realm of the Buddhas. The multiple body spirit, array of supreme light, found the door of liberation, causing all famished sentient beings to be physically healthy and strong. The multiple body spirit, fragrant clouds of pure light, found the door of liberation, clearing away all sentient beings' defiling afflictions. The multiple body spirit, guardian sustainer, found the door of liberation, overturning all sentient beings, ignorant, foolish, and maniacal actions. The multiple body spirit, ubiquitous shepherd, found the door of liberation, manifesting adornments in the palaces of all world leaders. The multiple body spirit, immutable light, found the door of liberation, embracing all sentient beings and causing them to produce pure roots of goodness. At that time, the multiple body spirit, realm of pure joy, empowered by the Buddha, looked over all the multiple body spirits and said, Book of Five Rings, Code of Conduct. One, think of what is right and true. Two, Practice and cultivate the science. 3. Become acquainted with the arts. 4. Know the principles of the crafts. 5. Understand the harm and benefit in everything. 6. 
Learn to see everything accurately. 7. Become aware of what is not obvious. 8. Be careful, even in small matters. 9. Do not do anything useless. Even if superficially weak-hearted, be inwardly strong-hearted, and do not let others see into your mind. Scientific Method Ask questions. Do background research. Construct hypothesis. Test with an, an experiment. Analyze results. Draw a conclusion. If hypothesis is true, report results. If hypothesis is false or partially true, construct new hypothesis and report results. A quitter never wins, and a winner never quits. Cultivate transcendent self-control for a pure body, all-pervading. Cultivate unbending intent for the remainder of all time. I vow to cultivate unbending intent for the remainder of all time. The human spirit, oceans of bliss, held without bound, found the door of liberation, forever destroying all solid ignorance, taming and subduing and appeasing mind. His store of calm was firm and enduring. Constant Exertion Anuttara Samyak Sambodhi Unsurpassed, supreme, Perfect enlightenment, supreme, correct awakening. You are what your deep driving desire is. As your desire is, so is your will. As your will is, so is your deed. As your deed is, so is your destiny. I am honor, courage, integrity, fidelity, courtesy. And I demand of myself self-control as well as ambition and humility. Remember how long you have been putting off these things and how often you have received an opportunity from the gods and yet have not used it. You must now at last perceive what kind of a universe you are a part and the true nature of the Lord of the universe of which your being is a part, and how a limit of time is fixed for you, which if you do not use for clearing away the clouds from your mind, it will go, and you will go, and it will never return. Let us now speak of brave men who lived their lives just as they would have it. If you think you are beaten, you are. If you think you dare not, you don't. If you like to win but think you can't, it is almost certain you won't. If you think you'll lose, you're lost. For out of the world we find, success begins with a fellow's will. It is all in the state of mind. If you think you are outclassed, you are. You've got to think high to rise. You've got to be sure of yourself before you can ever win a prize. Life's battles don't always go to the stronger or faster man. But soon, or late, the man who wins is the man who thinks he can. My Greatest Treasure <laughs>